Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to show you a protocol on the SUI network called SUIswap. This is a traditional uh, AMM, Automated Market Maker. It will be launching on the SUI chain when the mainnet is live. At the moment, what I'm going to show you is on testnet. It has the basic concepts of Uniswap and Curve, kind of, they're both merged into one and offer that kind of um, AMMs on both sides, stable pairs and just traditional pairs. So if you are used to Uniswap and, and things like that, you'll know exactly how to use this it's, it's pretty much the same thing but if you're not and you know you've got into the blockchain space and this is your first experience well this tutorial will show you how to use the protocol remember as i mentioned before on testnet everything you see at the moment is all testnet tokens so on mainnet you'll be playing with real world assets right now it's just make believe so as always not financial advice these videos are strictly for educational purposes only. Okay, so let's just dive in. I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. So here is the website. The first thing you want to do is connect your wallet. Now, if you haven't already, you will. Uh, I have got the SWE wallet installed at the moment and I have a tutorial on this. So just click on this card and you will see it. But if you haven't got your SWE wallet set up already, that will take you through it. Now, since I did the tutorial, there's a ton more of wallets compatible with the SWE network, but I haven't had time to explore them all. So I'm gonna to stick to the one that I have covered previously. Quick overview of the app. You can see, you can click on the documentation. It's actually a nice little feature. You can just connect straight into the documentation. It doesn't leave the page, although you will have to connect your wallet again. Now, this is a swap function. This is the pool function. What is the pool function? This is where you add your liquidity. So where you take different pairs and you supply that to the liquidity pool. And when it's live, you'll probably see a lot of these liquidity pool incentivized so that they can acquire liquidity. And that's how you'd earn the native token of the protocol. Next up, we have stable coin. So the difference between the pool and the stable coin is the there's a higher fee trading fee involved with the different asset pools but the stable pool is basically just trading like for like so in this example you've got two stable coins but in uh, another example would be when sui has some uh, liquid staking uh, tokens for for its network for the sui token you could pair the two different uh, liquid staking tokens together because they're like for like and that they, they would um, arrive there would be in a pool like this. Why? Because the trading fees are minimal so that you could do swaps between these assets with minimal slippage. Next up, the token. So in this case, uh, it would show you all the tokens and um, uh, for testnet, it's basically your way to mint some testnet tokens. So at the moment, if I wanted to mint some ETH, you can see, head on over here, I will approve this transaction and done. So then I'll have a bit of ETH in my wallet. It will pop up in a moment and you can see over here it will show you your transactions. So airdrop. now one of the things I want to quickly cover is airdrop. If you didn't know there is an airdrop at the moment while on testnet you can go to uh, Zealy and I'll have the invite in my show notes so if you want you can join if not up to you but head on there and do some of these tasks and you get exp basically these exp turn into um, soy points and you can then uh, connect go into the discord check out the announcements as a detailed announcement on how you can connect your wallet and connect your points and then uh, it it claims gives you the the secret code that you can go and claim your airdrop by clicking on that actual airdrop airdrop piece and paste your secret code it gives you and then you'll get your sui swap tokens claimable right there so it's a cool little way to learn about what sui swaps about um, take part in the community and earn a free airdrop all for just clicking a few buttons so if i head back out now you can see it's removed me but that's okay we'll connect back to the wallet and first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick uh, swap. So we've got uh, ETH and I'm going to swap it for over here to learn to give me the SWE token. And in this example, I will click on max. You can see I've got one ETH and I'll swap it here. Now, just a few things about this quick screen that you can see. It's telling you the swap price. It's testnet. Don't expect much to happen. 
this is slippage. Now, where you need to, to keep an eye on this is in an event there's a lot of trading happening and the price is moving quickly, this is what it means. If the price slips a bit from the time you click submit bit to above 0.2% of what it's quoted you, it will fail. Uh, and that is traditional on all AMM. So you can here change this much higher, much lower, generally just leave it as it is. And if you're trading with either high volatility where some of the assets are moving in price or two, there's not enough liquidity in the pool, which will cause the assets to move in price very quickly. So anyway, that's this. I'll swap my ETH, I'll confirm and it'll prompt you with the transaction. We'll hit approve, done. And you can see now I have a bit more, if I click here, my balance was much lower than this and it's just giving me what's in my wallet. This up field here is what's in my wallet. Cool little display. Okay, so you figured out how to swap a token. Next thing you wanna supply some liquidity. Now I need to figure out which one I have here. Okay, so we've got some BNB. I'm gonna add some liquidity. I've got, uh, I'll add, should have one and I've got a bit of there. It automatically, what you'll notice here is when you add your asset, it will pair the, what you need. You need 50%, it needs to be 50% uh, even Steven, basically. So one BNB, that much worth of soy you have to pair and then it gets deposited in the pool. Remember, if you haven't used these protocols, there's this thing called permanent loss and essentially these assets, what you put in is not necessarily what the exact amounts you're going to get back if there's a lot of volatility on each side of the pair. So in this case, see, say uh, Sui's price skyrockets, you will notice if you go to pull out your liquidity, you will end up with more BNB versus Sui that you put in and vice versa. If BNB moons, you will essentially get back less BNB when you withdraw and more Sui. So uh, over time, uh, things can even out depending on what actually happens with the price. But, but that is known as impermanent loss. This tutorial, I'm not going to dive any deeper into that, but it's definitely something you need to research and be across when you're supplying liquidity, especially if you're trying to get the, those farming rewards. So I'm going to deposit this and a nice one transaction approval which is great to see great so that's done and you can see now if i scroll up and refresh here you go i have added my bnb and um, um that that's my share of the pool cool so stable pool it works the same way so it literally if i put one one it will let me deposit uh, now this must be the reason why it's not just taking the same amount is because there must be a, a bit of a peg break remember it's test net so that's why it's creating this but it's the same thing you hit deposit and you're done and that my friends is everything you need to know about the current version of soy swap now, one of the cool things that the, the team have said in the documentations while I'm here is this is going to be more than a simple AMM. So you've got your traditional pools, you've got your stable point, uh, coin liquidity pools, you've got, then they're going to have a central limit order book trading platform. So uh, your typical uh, centralized, uh, what you're used to in exchanges. So your order books, you'll be able to do some of that. They're saying on here, there's going to be an aggregator so this will be basically all the pools anywhere and everywhere it'll aggregate to ensure that it's it's giving you the best rate and i'm pretty sure it means it across the platform just taking advantage of the various pools it has available like the traditional liquidity the stablecoin liquidity the central now if the aggregator actually includes external uh AMMs and other DEXs that pop up on the SUI network. That would be fantastic. But for the moment, I would think it's, that's what it is. And this is the two parts where it talks about liquidity farming and yield farming and platform revenue. So this is what will be used to, to entice us as users to put liquidity into the AMM. 
And yeah, then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. They want to go cross chain, etc. But at its core at the moment, what I'm looking at here is pretty much a V1, just getting ready for a mainnet launch. And then you could, you, you should see the team uh, grow this AMM into what they're saying in their docs. Overall, a very, a very good first it iteration of a product and looking forward to it uh, getting launched on mainnet and really loving the fact that you can get a stake of tokens by just partaking for free in um, their program that they have going at the moment so definitely get involved and check that out if you have any questions drop them in the comments if there's any content across the soy network you want me to cover let me know i am keen to learn and dive in across this ecosystem i am up to two videos now of this ecosystem and keen to keep growing that so please definitely share some comments and uh, let me know what you'd like to see and i'll do some research and try to cover it as always thank you for watching and share like subscribe until next time take care